Hi Gemini, this is your December 18th or December 24th weekly tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first part is a new love this week. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the potential outcome. We have uh, the Twelve Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, we also have you, Gemini. <laughs> we have Sagittarius. Um, or any zodiac sign. You will know who this person is, Gemini, if this person recently achieved something. Or they reached some kind of a goal, they reached some kind of a milestone in their life, and now they feel very confident about approaching you, about making a move towards you. Because they've got money in the bank, because they've got their education, they've, they got promoted, or they just... Uh, saved enough money, <laughs> right? They just graduated from college or something like that. It feels like they just recently achieved or accomplished something. That's how it feels. And that's how you'll know who this person is, Gemini, for most of you. I'm not saying they're going to be bragging about it, but they'll mention it. Or perhaps you already know what they've achieved or accomplished, all right? Um, and it took them a little, it took them a hot minute to get here. That's how you'll also know who this person is. That's how it feels. All right, um, so yeah, we start with the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Magician. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all four <laughs> knights. But at the same time, it's the most stable, the most grounded, the most serious, the most long-term oriented, and the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. When the Knight of Pentacles shows up, that means... So whoever is coming towards you with this knight, it means business. They have money in the bank. They they are serious about you. They are looking for a long term with uh, with you, right? The magician clarifying it is actually one of your major arcana cards, uh, Gemini. You share it with Virgo, so this person could be either Gemini or Virgo. But the magician is a card of manifestation, and most importantly, it's a card of taking action. So this week, they're definitely taking action towards you, and expect um, they may do more than one thing for you. They could like send you a little gift or a big gift. They may take you out to a fancy place. They'll do this, they'll do that. Because <clears throat> the magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal. Right? It's a very creative uh, energy. <clears throat> uh, the Six of Wands clarified by the Ace of Swords. This is, this is them coming towards you. Right? The Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, attention. It could be something that just happened to them. They just achieved something in their life and they feel very confident. Um, and uh, it's also kind of attention, right? You definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. The Ace of Swords, clarifying it, is a card of a very straightforward, very direct conversation, right? Uh, with the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around. With the Ace of Swords, people are usually very straightforward, very upfront, very honest, all right? And they're, they're just going to tell you straight up what they want with you. <laughs> they want a long-term commitment with you. That's what they definitely want with you. Gemini, right? The the Wheel of Fortune in the middle could be a Sagittarius, you know, but that's this is a card of starting a cycle. It's a major arcana card, right? The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. That's again, that's what they want. They want to get into a serious relationship with you. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have uh, the Two of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. All cups <laughs> could be a water sign for some of you. Right? But uh, those are very, very loving cards. Very loving cards. The Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of unconditional love. And there's two people in the Two of Cups. I assume that's you and uh, this person coming towards you. The Ace of Cups is all about genuine, true, authentic love. This is what it's all about. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. Uh, so if having chosen or having more children is still an option for you, the two of you can definitely have children or more children together. Right then the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck could be a Taurus you're dealing with. But the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. Right? Uh, it could also be where the two of you will be meeting. So the, the Hierophant is uh, also a card of something formal, something official, religious. It's a card of uh, education. 
it's a card of uh, tradition, yeah, like I said. But for most of you, it's simply the second commitment of marriage card in this reading. So, yes, you do have two marriage cards in this reading. Gemini, so yeah, this person feels very, very confident about uh, making this move because they are ready. And they are ready across the board. They've got money in the bank, they've completed something, they've accomplished something. It's like, and now they're ready for for you <laughs> to be in their life and uh, it's like this person is a provider I think it's very it was very important for this person to make sure they can provide alright that's just the way this person is and at the same time they're still very very loving alright really happy for you Gemini congratulations if you are already married or if you're in a relationship uh, Gemini this spread is for you we have the eight of Wands, Clarified Dot and Nine of Cups, we have the Four of Swords, Temperance, and uh, the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or uh, an Aquarius. Here's the deal, Gemini. I'm the, I don't mean to scare you, this is good news, but uh, here's the deal. We have three cards in a tarot deck that could be interpreted as cards of healing, right? And though we have all three of them on the table, right? The Four of Swords could be a card of healing, so it can be Temperance, and so it can be the star on the bottom of the deck. Healing. Okay, the eight of ones, the first card I came out, it could be a card of uh, communication or travel. Right? The nine of cups clarifying the eight of ones is a really good card. Alright? It's a card of a wish come true. It's a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. So I can interpret this if you've been feeling under the weather, uh, you could be um, making a full recovery. <laughs> so you could uh, still go to where you need to go for the for the holidays. Right? Or you may hear some good news from somebody else, some, perhaps a friend or someone in the family, God forbid. Uh, they were feeling under the weather and now they're making a full recovery. For others of you, you could simply be going to some kind of a retreat. <laughs> you know, going to one of those uh, retreat places where you'll be getting massages, where you'll be getting... Uh, other treatments, mud baths, what have you. Because the Yato ones could be a part of travel. Perhaps you need some time off. <laughs> and you could be going with the whole family, you know. Yeah. The Yato ones could be a part of travel. But uh, I think overall this is still a very positive spread. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Gemini, this week. Uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, Mercury is in retrograde. Yay! <laughs> this is when more Xs than usual tend to resurface. So, we've got the Five of Cups clarified by Judgment. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. And we have Death on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio or pretty much any Zodiac sign. I don't think you're taking anybody back this week, Gemini. Nope. No, doesn't matter what their zodiac sign is, right? Death on the bottom of the deck could be a Scorpio, right? It's a Scorpio major arcana card, but death could be a part of uh, something that came to an end in the past, right? Death is a card of, is also a card of transformation. Um, we do start with the Five of Cups, got fight by Judgment. The Five of Cups has always to do with the past. It's a card of regret and regret. Judgment clarifying it is a card of somebody coming back from the past, and also a card of somebody having to make a judgment call. So perhaps in the past they did make a, the wrong judgment call and now they regret it and now they're coming back to you. You're not taking them back. The next card, the Four of Cups, is a card of a rejection, right? This is you telling them no. And uh, the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Nine of Pentacles, I think this is you right there. The Four of Pentacles, this is you remaining closed off when it comes to this particular X or it kind of feels like you just don't want to it's, it's almost the end of the year, so leave me alone. That type of energy. <laughs> right? um, yeah, so yeah, whatever their zodiac sign is, you're not taking them back. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Gemini, this week. Uh, we have uh, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, uh, the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, the Star on the bottom of the deck. It feels like the end of a very long, tough road. For you, Gemini. Yeah, a lot of people. For a lot of people, this week is going to be the last week. They're going to be working um, this year because I know I'll, I personally know a lot of people who take who are going to take the last week off, right? So perhaps you feel like yes, this is like the finish line for you, and uh, you're you could be just happy. <laughs> it's finally over. Okay. For others of you, you could be um, moving. Right? Perhaps uh, you bought a house recently and now you're finally moving in. And perhaps you had to spend some money on it to remodel it. Some of you could be 
finishing the remodeling of a home and uh, one person once told me you cannot finish remodeling a home you can only stop it <laughs> so keep that in mind all right. Um, yeah, the 1001 says a card of a burden. It's a card of a responsive, a lot of responsibilities. It's a card of uh, just something that's taken a toll on us. Right. The six of swords. The next card over could be a card of literally relocating or literally going somewhere. But most importantly, it's a card of a rough patch being over. It's a card of moving uh, out of choppy orders towards calmer orders. Technically, yeah, it's it's uh, moving away from the 1001s. That burden card towards uh, something better. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles, the last card that came out, this is one of those cards you want to see when it comes to work, business, and finances. It's a card of financial abundance, financial security. It's also a card of real estate. All right. So for some of you, like I said, an apartment or a home or property is somehow a part of this. Perhaps you are struggling with, some, with whatever uh, is associated with your property and now it's um, getting better. The star on the bottom of the deck is a card of a wish come true. Right? For some of you, by the way, you could be promoted, you could be getting, I don't know how many people are going to be getting jobs, but perhaps you're getting a job that you always wanted. The star could be a card of healing, so perhaps it's time for you to finally unplug, <laughs> go on vacation or something like that. Some of you could be going this week uh, to your extended family, right? And uh, yeah, this is a very positive uh, spread, Gemini. This spread is an improvement, things getting better spread, all right? Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. We have both the King and the Queen of Swords, right? And both of them are clarified by the Six of Wands. Then we have uh, the Page of Cups clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, we have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Yeah, what you're not expecting is some kind of a reunion. <laughs> Or, if it's not a reunion, then there could be some kind of an event, and uh, you will find um, like a good partner for you. It doesn't have to be about love. It could be business-related, work-related, right? Um, or you could be celebrating something. Out of, out of the blue, there could be some sort of a celebration, right? The Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration. It's a card of a reunion. Okay, and uh, the King and the Queen of Swords are the two people or two of those people celebrating. I assume you're one of them. You're either the King or the Queen of Swords, doesn't matter to me <laughs> who you are. But at least one person is going to be most likely a fellow air sign. The King and the Queen of Swords are a power couple, right? I often interpret the King and the Queen of Swords as a power couple, okay? And it could be a power couple when it comes to relationships, it could be a power couple when it comes to work, finances, business, what have you. Both of you are clarified by the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory, success, recognition, being awarded, rewarded, promoted, and uh, recognized, and things like that. So it kind of feels like if you already have like a business partner, or if you already have some sort of uh, association with somebody, the two of you could be um, celebrating some kind of a success, all right? Or uh, if you do go to some kind of a party or an event, this power couple could be established at that event because networking, communication is uh, essential when it comes to work, business, and finances. I think all of us know that. The Page of Cups, uh, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups could be either in an invitation to go to that event or a reunion, or if you're already going to some kind of an event. Um, this person could be approaching you and uh, establishing this uh, power couple situation or perhaps somebody else will congratulate you on it with your success if this is something that's been going on for a while. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles, um, clarifying that is a golden opportunity. Like I said, if this is something that's been around for a while, you could be getting a bonus, you could be getting money or you could be uh, getting another business contract or something like that. Or if this is just forming this week, if this is just the beginning of this um, I don't know, partnership of some sort, right? Then it could last a long time. The Ace of Pentacles always talks about long terms. And that's what you're not expecting, <laughs> Gemini. I hope this makes sense. All right, but uh, yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week.